It began with a 30-second moment of silence in remembrance of those who served and some who gave all. Lord, every single person that we will place a wreath on their uh, grave today, Lord, gave a part of their lives and maybe even their life to teach the children the value of freedom. Today we show a united front of gratitude and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who have served and their families, and teach our next generation the value of freedom. The 11th annual Reads Across America ceremony at Tonaquin Cemetery in St. George was well attended this year. As members of each branch of service laid wreaths in honor of those in the military, a new ceremonial wreath was laid this year by the Daughters of the American Revolution. One thing to note, this year we've added an additional ceremonial wreath for the men and women that serve in the Space Force, along with those veterans who have served uh, in helping secure our national interests in space. And the final ceremonial wreath was laid in honor of POWs and MIAs. In honor of all, of over 82,000 United States service men and women from all branches of the service whose last known status was, was either prisoner of war or missing in action. A city proclamation named December 18th as Wreaths Across America Day 2021 in St. George. To gratefully remember and honor Utah's veterans and to thank them once again for their service to our country during this holiday season. United We Pledge was organized and we are committed with everything that we have in order to protect and defend traditional American values of faith, family and freedom and to help ensure that the Constitution continues to be protected in every way. The Dixie High School Air Force Junior ROTC cadets displayed wreaths during an explanation signifying the meaning behind the 10 branches that make them whole. Every wreath has been personally sponsored by someone or some entity, thus making wreath laying possible for you and I to complete the mission. Remember the fallen, honor those who served, and teach the children the value of freedom. A special tribute by Elvis impersonator Kevin Conley, who arrived in a color country Corvette, graced the crowd with an Elvis version of America the Beautiful. As family members honored their veterans' loved ones' graves first, the general public was allowed to honor others with the live wreaths in a ceremony, saying the name out loud and thanking them for their service. Francis Bowen Cottle, we honor you and we remember you and we thank you for your service. And now lay the wreath. Good. The children are the future. So I think it's even more important that they're here with us and that we are passing on the mantle of freedom and its importance and that we need to be watchfully aware that it's only one generation away from being lost. And those who plan to serve will also never forget as they carry on the fight for freedom, like Easton Henry, who joined the military and begins his service in January. I like the challenge of it. I like the hardship that comes with it. And I want to be the one person that can do it when other people may not be able to. In all, 910 remembrance wreaths were placed on veterans' graves at Tonaquint Cemetery and another 1,160 wreaths at the historic St. George Cemetery. People that fell in war, their families fell also. So, it's kind of an American tradition. And it's kind of sad, yeah. but it, it's all for our freedom and we need to hang on to that. Yeah. And our children know that and our grandchildren know it too. Mm -hmm because we have made sure they do. And thank you to all veterans for their service. In St. George, on Wreaths Across America Day, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.